God of War Ragnarok Valhalla offers a closing epilogue for the events of the game God of War Ragnarok, but it also opens some new doors. We talked about the secret endings and how they really had a finishing point for the relationship of Sigrun and Mimir. Well, there's some recent secret dialogue that's been found that may allude to a relationship between Kratos and Freya. The YouTuber So and many others have been able to beat a section of the game that I think the developers didn't expect you to. So when you first enter Valhalla, Kratos rips open the doors, and in doing so, he's playing the game Valhalla, so to speak, without following the rules. So it's much more challenging, you don't have all your weapons, and you're sort of designed to die at that point so Freya and Sigrun can be there to help you. Well, if you're able to beat it all the way to the upper levels of Valhalla, you find some secret dialogue that really seems to indicate that Mimir at the very least, maybe even, you know, Kratos underneath his tough exterior, does have some strong feelings for Freya. Perhaps the last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it though. At least this part seems peaceful. We should have a look around. You truly believe Freya would have aided us in this? Aided us? Talk sense into you? Win-win either way, really. I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoiding her. I am not avoiding her. Brother, you've gone to bloody Valhalla to avoid her. At least be honest with yourself. It is not her I am avoiding. I value Freya. Well, that I believe. I'm nice to hear you admit, frankly. I think she values you as well, in her way. She finds me useful. It is not the same. Is that really what you think? I do not believe she understands what she asks of me. One thing though, brother. When you said Freya didn't value you the way you value her, that came surprisingly close to resembling the language of unrequited love. You know better. I do. An impossible pairing for any number of reasons. Just the same, it's obvious to any observer that you two care deeply about each other. Hmm. She is an important ally and a dear friend. Disappointing her is difficult, but what she asks of me, I... Makes you think she only finds you useful. I see. Well, I can't speak for her, of course. But if our adventures have taught me anything, it's that our connections are what matter most. So, forgive me for hoping you'll work it out. So this alone, I think, doesn't confirm anything, but there are other lines in Valhalla that really speak to how Kratos sees things like love and also his duty to Freya. So I'm going to leave you with those today. I want you to really consider, you know, is this just fan service? Because there are so many fans that do think that should happen. Or could this be, you know, something in the future? I do think ultimately he killed her son. So there will always be a plateau of their sort of relationship in that sort of way. So I do think this might just be fan service. But clearly this DLC with how it ended with Mimir and Sigrid is all about love and unfinished business. Where is Freya? Away for the moment. As you know, she's attending to many things presently. Establishing a new governing body for the realms is no simple task. There are leaders to find and recruit, negotiations for sharing power. I'm sure she'd prefer to be here, but you'll have to make do with the three of us for now. I'm sure we're in excellent hands. You sent the invitation in the first place? Yes. His voice echoes in the halls. There's no mistaking it. So it's Tears game you're playing? This is all his idea? A game is not his purpose. There is something here I must see through. And what is that exactly? A process. <sighs> all right. If it's helping, I trust you both. <sighs> it seems like you're making progress, whatever you're doing in there. Perhaps. Listen, I... I know I made you feel like we expected more of you than you could give. And I just want you to know, I'm not asking you to change how you are or who you are. We had to break the old world. 
to build a new one. Picking up the pieces and putting them together stronger. It's a rare opportunity. You made a difference here. In some circles, a symbol of change. On many days, just knowing that you're a part of the Council is enough. And other days? You've earned a voice. How you use it is up to you. How are you faring, Amir? I know Seagrin's decision must be good. May I ask, deep down, what is it she means to you? So much of everything good in what I am is only due to my wanting to be the person she saw me as. Take her out of the equation, and I wonder if I'd ever have stopped being a scoundrel in service of scoundrels. Love can make us wish to improve. I was changed by what Faye saw in me. But losing her did not put an end to who I had become. Her inspiration remains. Aye. I suppose being the person they turned us into is a way to keep them with us. Honor the impact they had on us. Namir, what you said about love turning you into a better person. I wonder, what if that better person was within you all along? You could only see it once it was reflected in another. As though love is the feeling of recognizing the potential in our own soul. You mean to say falling in love is really only about ourselves? Not only that, one hopes, but the more we can own the part that is about ourselves, the more we can see others for who they really are, and love them, truly, in whatever form that takes.